Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about updating you about college because if you don't know, I am a freshman in college. I just completed my first semester this fall and I thought that like a lot of people ask me like, what am I doing in college? So I thought, why not just answer away? <laughs> So I graduated high school this past June, and I really didn't have the GPA to go anywhere. Not, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't really, it was a lot of things. I didn't have the GPA I wanted to get into the school that I wanted. And I feel like a lot of people go off to universities just to be able to say that they did, and that's not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to go off to a university that I actually liked, that I actually was gonna fit in at, and that I was going to actually have my major, you know, like it was, it's easy to just settle and be like, oh, well, this is somewhere, you know, at least I got out of this city. But at the same time, it's like, okay, yeah, but if it's not your dream school, then why are you going, you know, especially when you could have worked towards getting your dream school. So that's kind of how I reasoned and I chose to go to community college. Going to community college was a great decision. I think it helped me find my own independence and helped me learn how to be an adult in the real world which is essential before you even go off to university. So I thought, you know, this was kind of like a test drive for the real thing, which will be next fall. So there you have it. So I have one more semester to go before I will be transferring. Um, I will be doing my spring semester at community college as well. And then next fall, I will be doing a, I will start the process at of uh, being on university, which I will vlog and document. I plan on updating you guys at the end of every semester. So this is like the beginning, the first one. So um, there's a lot more videos to come. So how was the semester as a whole? I will say this semester was, uh, it was just kind of like high school. I think, yeah, academic wise, it was like high school. Cause I always like start off strong and I'm like getting things done. And the next thing you know, it's, November and I'm thinking of break and I'm just kind of over it. So that's kind of how this semester felt like I did so well at the beginning and then towards the end I'm just kind of like I'll do that later or oh, I can do that tomorrow. No need to stress. It's not like I paid money to go here. So it was pretty stressful, but I persevered through and managed to land all A's in all of my classes except for one. And that's the one that we're going to have the chat about, okay, people? The biggest lesson I took academic-wise from my school, well, not it's not the biggest one, but it's up there, is pay attention to the syllabus. Because I, the syllabus, when they, like, outline, like, how much everything counts, you will be surprised how not doing one assignment can literally be the difference. Because I was in, I took music appreciation, this semester, it was actually for my psychology major before I switched majors, but I decided to stay in it because I thought, okay, I do have to have an elective for my fashion major, so why not just take that elective out? You know, like, if I, that's already something done. So, I was passing the class. I had um, an almost, an, I had either almost an A or an almost a B. I was really doing pretty well in the class. I had never failed any of this test. I was doing really, really well, and I thought, okay, you know, everything's going to be fine. So I, the, there was an assignment that we had to do called concert reports. And basically in the concert report, you had to go to a concert. You basically had to go to a concert and take notes and then write an essay on it. And I did the first one, no problem. But when you're a student who rides the bus and you don't have a job, it was like, I can't afford $28 for a concert at midnight. I just can't. Like, the buses stopped running, you know, before midnight. So, I there was just no physical way for me to get there to do the last, the second one. So, I thought, okay, I'll find well and dandy. That just means that I'm going to have to work a little bit harder, just a little bit, to keep it, to get it back to the beat. No, ma'am. It took me from a, it took me from whatever grade I had, which was like a, like a B, I think, to a F. And that destroyed my grade, people. Like, there was no physical way I was going to get it to a C without him helping me. And so I just recommend doing that because I would have had all A's this semester. I would have at least had all A's and B's. So, yeah, I was kind of pissed. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't kind of pissed. I was very pissed. But that's neither here nor there. I'm done with that class. I passed it, which is all that matters, which means my GPA is, is still at a 3.2, which means... Right. Everyone wants to know what I am majoring in while I'm at community college. You don't necessarily major in anything. 
Um, so for everyone who's like getting in high school, getting ready to graduate, and thinking about community college, I would tell you, um, you either pick between three, but there's they added a couple more, so I could be wrong. It depends on what college, but at the one that I go to, they have associate in the arts, they have um, associate in the fine arts, they have associate in science, and then they're adding associates in engineering. And you basically, that basically means you're going to get like a two-year degree. It's not really worth much, in my opinion, compared to the four-year one, but you can do as you please. But yeah, you just take general education courses, and then you go actually into your major when you transfer. So I'm in Associate of the Arts. I don't really have many classes to take because my major is fashion, and fashion is not really something that is really known here in my state of North Carolina. So... Really, I'm just kind of taking general education courses, like, like seriously, I'm not taking anything that could even pass as an elective, except for, like, maybe a business class or a computer class. And I plan on transferring to North Carolina Agriculture, wait, what is it called? Oh, my God. The North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University, which is, in short, NCAT, which means I'm going to be an Aggie, blue and yellow. So what made me choose to go there is probably the question on everyone's mind. Well, my father went there and I have had two brothers graduate from there. Two of my older brothers graduated from there. And so it means a lot. I think that it and my dad actually knows the chancellor there. So it I don't I'm not that's what I mean when I say he knows him. It doesn't mean I'm going to get special privileges, but it's just like there's just a lot of history and legacy there for my family. And I thought they have my major. So why not? And not a lot of schools here to have my major, so yeah, that's where I want to go. What am I majoring in? Oh my god, yes, that's important, of course. I'm majoring in, I'm getting a BA in science, and my major says, it's actually going to stay in my major, family and consumer sciences, but my concentration is in fashion and merchandising, which is a lot, <laughs> which is why I always just say fashion, merchandising, and design, because, you know... You don't want to have to say a BS in science, fashion, I mean, family consumer sciences. Like, it's like, that's just too much. Like, it's fashion merchandising and design. And why did I pick that instead of, like, fashion design or fashion merchandising? Because the two, I feel like, are intermingled and both of them are very profitable. Like, I, I'm more so interested in the fashion business world and, like, marketing clothes and stuff. But I'm also interested in designing here or there. I want to have my own line one day, so... I felt like it's it's important to know both sides, know how to make the clothes, but also how to sell the clothes. So I thought, why not get like, why not get both when you, why settle for one when you can get both? I feel like getting both is more of an experience, per se. And I love, oh God, everyone's probably wondering like, what do you think about, you know, being trans on campus? And I know I'm about to do the podcast, but I don't, I don't even know why I was going to do that. But we'll get into that. I don't really know. I mean, I have friends that go there. I have actually a lot of friends. I have like friends that I went to middle school with, high school with, kindergarten with. So I'm I know that I'm going in already knowing a good amount of people. So I know that there's that support group there, but at the same time, I mean, I am a little nervous. I won't lie. It's a it's a pretty I mean, it's literally the next city over, so it's like it's not like I'm going to be far from my parents or my family or anything. I can actually come home every day if I really wanted to. But it's just the atmosphere, you know, me, <laughs> I mean, people watch my YouTube videos and they assume like, oh, you're very outgoing or, oh, you're very like personable. And I, I am at times, but when I'm uncomfortable, I am like shy. Like I'm in a, I'm like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to look at nobody. I will dismiss myself. So, you know, live, obviously living on campus is going to be a struggle. I mean, it's going to take some getting used to, but I think that I think that it's all about your attitude going in. <laughs> and right now I'm in a positive place with it. I'm like, okay, I can't live with my mother forever because you, you know, you just can't. Um, and I want to live on my own. So if I can't even get used to living with a, living on a campus, then how am I going to get used to living on my own? You know, so I'm just going to take it as it is. I'm going to count my chickens and I'm going to hope for the best. Um, but yeah. This semester was pretty easy. I mean, it was kind of easy. Um, I mean, yeah, biology was like a struggle. Like, biology was probably the worst class I had, you know. Before music appreciation failed and flopped, biology was the one that I was like, I could potentially fail because 
just because it was very difficult, you know, and he was not really the best teacher, which is why I suggest for all you incoming freshmen, do your research, ask around campus. If you know someone that goes to your school, ask, ask, go to ratemyprofessor.com, look, because you will, you, you don't want to find out after the drop point that your professor doesn't have any students who've ever passed. That is like, you'd be like, oh God, this is not good. So, and I know this is going to sound really mean, but it is, it's subject. I mean, it depends on how you feel. I personally don't want any more foreign teachers and it's nothing against any race, religion, whatever you are. It's, I am open and accepting, but I don't, I just have a hard time understanding. I have a hard time understanding them and their, them, like when they speak English and it's not, and that's not their fault and it's not my fault and it's no one's fault, but it's just very difficult for me personally. Like I, my biology teacher, he was Nigerian and I was, I was very excited to have like a Nigerian teacher, but I had a hard time understanding his, his, his words. And sometimes I had a hard, then he put together sentences differently than I than normal people that I've met that are like speak it firsthand. So it's like sometimes the way he would word it would just not register. So it was really hard to go for him for help because I didn't really understand how he was trying to explain it. So it was like, I don't want any more foreign teachers. I'm like, okay, next semester, we're going to hope for none. <laughs> we're going to hope, guys. Fingers crossed. None. I don't want any. And then I had a math teacher who was... um. She was Indian, and she, I mean, I love I love her accent. I really did, but it was very difficult to understand at times. And but it's a subject that you, like, if in English, it wouldn't matter. I would understand. But when it's, like, math or science, nope. I need someone who speaks English first because I will not understand. And it, it just didn't help. <laughs> so that is just my update, guys. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I forgot to tell you guys what I wanted to do with my degree when I eventually earned it two or three years from now. I don't know. Um, I actually plan on using my degree to be a buyer, probably. Yeah, a buyer. Or probably doing some type of work as far as the marketing realm. Or, or maybe, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I want to have my own clothing line, but I feel like I need to actually establish a living first before I even attempt to do something like that. But you never know how things will go. But definitely, I want to um, use it in the business world and um, market clothing some right here or there. And yeah. And I also wanted to mention that I will, I plan to take an internship in London my junior year. Um, why did I pick that? Why did I pick London? Because there were other choices. I mean, you could have went to Paris, Rome, or Florence, or I think it was like Milan, and it was a lot of places, actually. Um, and there was even some Spanish-speaking places that you could have went to as well. And I'm gonna tell you why I picked London, because English is the first, is, is spoken there, and I feel like I understand that, like, okay, you can, I've, I took Spanish, so I do know a little Spanish, and I know that, you know, it might be more enriching to go to maybe Paris or all these places, but I think London is actually pretty cool. It's a place I've always wanted to go to, and it's always been a place that I like. I admire fashions from, so I thought, why not? This is the perfect opportunity to get to go somewhere where I actually like and I actually wanted to visit. So it'll be one little check off of my um, bucket list, if you want to, per se. So, yeah. So if you guys have any questions about my major or about my school or anything, I you can leave them down below because I will answer them. I really will. Um, I don't really. I told you guys what college I'm transferring to, um, but I'm not gonna tell you guys where I plan on on where I'm going right now. And I don't even know if I'm going to end up at A because applications are gonna be due very soon. And I I've started, but I'm not close to finishing. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.